Morning all. All right, today we've uh, got a different kind of project. Um, I've got brake issues. So I want to do rear brakes um, in the Prado. Um, new brakes, uh, rotors and uh, shoes over there. Um, brake pedal has been getting a bit spongy and I mean, you know, if you look at the state of these, they're pretty pretty short. Um, what it's actually caused by is uh, launching the boat, um, basically dunking the back end of the truck in the water. And, um, you know, when the, when the discs are hot, um, that's kind of what kills them. So, but mind you, these have probably got 300,000 Ks on them. So, yeah, for 180 bucks, I think, for the set. Um, not too bad so you might as well change them out so yeah so um, we will uh, get these um, uh, calipers off and make sure everything's tickety-boo do a bit of inspection get these off get throw the new ones on and uh, we'll go from there um, this is a 98 TX Toyota Prado uh, it's got about 330 odd thousand Ks, 335 I think, Ks on the clock. Uh, it's a 3 litre turbo diesel. Um, love it. Don't want to change. It does everything that I want it to do. And I never have to uh, open the bonnet, really. Um, it, uh, it's a bit rough in places, but she keeps on ticking. So it's good. All right, so we'll get set up and we'll bring you back. I've had this truck for five years, roughly. Never done the rear brakes on it. Never even looked at that. Well, much. I've done the rear shocks uh, a couple of years back. Um, they were pretty toast and they weren't fun to do either the design is just horrible on the uh, top mount but, uh, Sorry if the lighting's not very good, I don't know where my light is. <clears throat> it's pretty stuck. So I'm also wondering if I've got a seized caliper at all. Oh, get out of there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, you're going to need some work. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty uh, stuck on there. Right. You can sit back in there. Let's have a look at these pads. Yeah, I'd say they're getting down a lot. I've done a lot of towing with this wagon. Um, I... Uh, used to tow my other 
they go with it, obviously. Oh god, that one's down to steel. <gasps> okay, well that'll be the grinding sound I'm hearing. Cool. Alrighty. Um, what have we got in there? Those two. Yup. Oh god. I think those are probably factory. I'd say so. I've got an air ratchet somewhere. On there. I actually did, uh, I don't know, a bit of a uh, mechanics apprenticeship when I was about 17. It never really panned out. Um, but all I did was brakes and oil changes and sweep the floor. But, you know, that knowledge has never left me. So let's go and get the uh, decent thumper. See, so I imagine on this we're going to have a handbrake cable as well. Which will make life interesting. And probably release that. Yeah. seized as well. It's not coming all the way back. Pretty good on the handbrake, doesn't really get used on an automatic. Pretty good on there, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, alright, let's have a look at the uh, new um, discs and we'll do a side by side. size 
Okay, so the uh, <laughs> fella at the uh, parts shop um, gave me the wrong rotors. There was two sets sitting there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so they're actually sending the rep out to drop off the correct ones, which is pretty good, I reckon. So, um, yeah, not bad at all. But, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, wait until um, they arrive, and I might get the other side off in the meanwhile. And, um, yeah, we'll do that. So there's no point filming that because it's same as this side. So, okay, so we'll bring you back when we get the new stuff. All right, through the magic of uh, TV, we've got some discs out of the right size. Um, yeah, the company, the uh, rep came out and dropped them off, which was really good. Quite happy with them now. Um, and I've cleaned up the uh, calipers and installed the new shoes. So... Excuse me. Um, so yeah, so we'll um, continue on getting all this back together. Bit of handy seas never goes astray. For the next guy and 10 years to him. Okay, I've already pushed the uh, pistons back and the calipers, so we're happy days on that. There you go. Just important to get those rubber boots in behind the... and not squash them like I've done with that one. Okay. So these pins, it's designed to slide the caliper as the shoes wear, it's designed to slide either side. Um, so it's good to have those rather lubed up. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, come on. Oh, man. So tight, it shouldn't be tight. <sighs> Just needs to get some. Okay. Yeah, that one's alright. It's actually got an inner boot, it's quite strange. Um, there's a, like, all inside the boot goes right through to the uh, other side, so it's... So it's quite, um... Quite unusual. Normally you just have the rubber boot Try that again. Oh, 
Come here. That's a bit of a... Now, I don't know if I'll bleed these brakes up. We'll see. Um, the fact that they were pushed all the way out um, because of the pads being so worn um, may just bring the pedal back and I'll test it. I'll see where it's lying and if it still feels soft, I'll give it a test. I mean, it might be an idea to blow some new fluid through the lines anyway. One side done. Caliper moves nice. Right, we get these springs back on for the handy brake. Yes, everybody likes a handbrake. Uh, all right, so that's it. Um, pretty basic. Man, they look shiny. Two flags for this guy, and I'll run some uh, some more. Andy sees on these studs as well. All right, that's cool. Thanks for watching and uh, quick and easy. We'll see you on the next one.